Saprotrophic nutrition or lysotrophic nutrition is a process of chemoheterotrophic extracellular digestion involved in the processing of decayed, dead or waste, organic matter. It occurs in saprotrophs and heterotrophs, and is most often associated with fungi for example mucor and soil bacteria. Saprotrophic microscopic fungi are sometimes called saprobes, saprotrophic plants or bacterial flora are called saprophytes, sapro plus phyte, rotten material, plus plant, though it is now believed that all plants previously thought to be saprotrophic are in fact parasites of microscopic fungi or other plants. The process is most often facilitated through the active transport of such materials through endocytosis within the internal mycelium and its constituent hyphae. Various word roots relating to decayed matter, detritus, sapro, eating and nutrition, bore, phage, and plants or life forms, phyte, o, produce various terms, such as detritivore, detritophage, saprotroph, saprophyte, saprophage, and saprobe. Their meanings overlap, although technical distinctions based on physiologic mechanisms narrow the senses. For example, usage distinctions can be made based on macroscopic swallowing of detritus as an earthworm does versus microscopic lysis of detritus as a mushroom does. A facultative saprophyte appears on stressed or dying plants and may combine with the live pathogens. Process as matter decomposes within a medium in which a saprotroph is residing, the saprotroph breaks such matter down into its composites. Proteins are broken down into their amino acid composites through the breaking of peptide bonds by proteases. Lipids are broken down into fatty acids and glycerol by lipases. Starch is broken down into pieces of simple disaccharides by amylases, these products are reabsorbed into the hypha through the cell wall via endocytosis and passed on throughout the mycelium complex. This facilitates the passage of such materials throughout the organism and allows for growth and, if necessary, repair. Conditions in order for a saprotrophic organism to facilitate optimal growth and repair, favorable conditions and nutrients must be present. Optimal conditions refers to several conditions which optimize the growth of saprotrophic organisms, such as Presence of water, 80-90% of the fungi is composed of water by mass, and requires excess water for absorption due to the evaporation of internally retent water. Presence of oxygen, very few saprotrophic organisms can endure anaerobic conditions as evidenced by their growth above media such as water or soil. Neutral acidic, pH, the condition of neutral or mildly acidic conditions under pH 7 are required. Low medium temperature, the majority of saprotrophic organisms require temperatures between 1 degree Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius, with optimum growth occurring at 25 degrees Celsius. The majority of nutrients taken in by such organisms must be able to provide carbon, proteins, vitamins and in some cases, ions. Due to the carbon composition of the majority of organisms, dead and organic matter provide rich sources of disaccharides and polysaccharides such as maltose and starch, and of the monosaccharide glucose. In terms of nitrogen rich sources, saprotrophs require combined protein for the creation of proteins, which is facilitated by the absorption of amino acids, and usually taken from rich soil. Although both ions and vitamins are rare, thiamine are ions such as potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium aid the growth of the mycelium. See also Mycorrhizal fungi and soil carbon storage Chemoautotrophic nutrition Detritivore Holozoic nutrition Parasitic nutrition Photoautotrophic nutrition Photosynthesis Wood decay fungus References Further reading Clegg, C.J., McKean, D.G. 2006. Advanced Biology, Principles and Applications, 2nd ed. Hotter Publishing. Z. Mitrovich, I. B., Wasser, S. P., Tura, D. 2014. Wood Inhabiting Fungi. 
In Misra, J.K., Tawari, J.P., Deshmukh, S.K., Vagbulgi, C. Fungi from Different Substrates, PDF. N.Y., C.R.C. Press, Taylor and Francis Group. pp. 17-74.